Gabriel Beversluis, and I want to talk to you today about a reciprocating gait orthosis. This is an orthosis for children who are paralyzed below the waist, who typically spend most of their time in a wheelchair and uh, perhaps do some assisted standing or weight bearing with either KFOs or HKAFOs, um, but tend to uh, need their hands and arms quite a bit for stability and to hold themselves upright. This brace, um, because it's a full body system, it supports the trunk and the hips and the knees and the ankles and maintains that vertical position. Uh, the other thing it does, uh, it does, of course, is it reciprocates. It's called the reciprocating gait orthosis, so the two legs move in a reciprocal pattern. Um, when, it's, when it's adjusted properly, when you unlock the hips, which you can also do for kids to be able to sit, then you have uh, full flexion of the hips here. And you can even unlock the knee joints if you want them to be able to have children sit. They can sit with the brace on as well. Uh, but the idea is that it helps to stabilize the hips while giving freedom to the hips. So children can move and flex their hips, flex and extend, but they don't do both at the same time. So they're not going to collapse forward uh, into flexion like they would with a standard HKAFO system. This allows that same movement at the hips, but only one leg at a time moves forward. And as one moves forward, the other one moves backwards. Let's see this. Like that. Um, of course, increased weight bearing is extremely beneficial for bone growth and development to, to uh, make sure the bones are, are stronger for circulation, for uh, keeping pressure off of the tailbone region all the time, for digestion, uh, basically all the body systems are helped. <coughs> One other uh, benefit that we see is a lot of times kids, typically with spina bifida, who are spending a lot of time in a wheelchair, will, will get uh, hip flexion contractures. And so what this does is then stretches them out totally, keeps their legs straight and their trunk straight, holds the trunk back with this pad up here to help stretch those hip flexors and prevent contractures from developing. And uh, this particular model, by the way, is designed to have these AFO sections fit right over top of whatever shoes and other AFOs the patient would be wearing. Uh, we can also make them with more of a standard KAFO, which goes down inside of the shoe. Uh, but this is a nice option to be able to put it on and take it off uh, more easily and more quickly without having to completely remove a KFO or a, an AFO section that the patient would otherwise be wearing while they're in their uh, chair. Mm -hmm.